In this lesson, we'll take a look at the Frame Fade Contour Shader. So the Frame Fade is a special contour shader that will allow us to change the look of our contour lines over time. So let's take a look at how we can connect this up. So this can be added just like any of the other contour shaders inside the Contour Shader tab. Let's drop in the Contour Shader Frame Fade. Now the first thing we need to do is take this node and connect it into our materials. So that way these materials render with this particular contour shading. So let's go back to, in this case, the ramp shader. Take a look at the output connections. So that way we can gain access to its shading group. We'll take this node, middle click, drop it into the contour shading tab. And we'll do the same for this Lambert 2, which is right now our backdrop material, or the ground plane material. And we'll connect the frame fade into that as well. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the render settings. And I've gone ahead and made a few important adjustments already to the uh, actual contour rendering. So let's take a look inside the Features tab. Scroll all the way down to the Contours. I've gone ahead and at this point I've already enabled contour rendering. I've already made sure that we have it set to render the contour lines between different materials. And I've already made sure that we have the normal contrast set to a fairly high level. That way we can make sure that we get all the corners of this cube to render with a contour line. Other than that, you really won't have to do anything. This particular shader does not have to have the custom contrast or store shaders applied in order to make it work correctly. So with these options turned on, let's render what we have. And you can see that right now we have a white contour outline around our geometry. So what we can do is if we take a look back inside the hypershade, is make a few adjustments to the actual attributes for this. So within the contour shader frame fade, we do have the ability to control at frame one, we have a predefined color. So in our case, we could choose maybe something like a nice bright orange color, and that width or this contour line will render out with a width of one. By frame 10, we can tell it to fade to this other secondary color. In our case, we can maybe just leave this black just to see what this looks like. And by this point, this will render out with a line width of 0.2. So right now we have our timeline set to frame 1. So whenever we render, we get this nice bright orange outline. And if we move ahead to frame 10 and re-render, we should now start to see these thinner black contour outlines. And you can see that's exactly what we have. And if we were to move somewhere in the middle, we should start to see sort of a mixture of this orange and black beginning to take effect. So this really does start to become a really nice way of controlling your overall look of your contour lines over some kind of a predefined period of time.